Okay, so we're back at the house. We've managed to get our little box. We've already filled it full of stuff, but we've got an inventory spare now, so we can pick up all the rest of the stuff that we left behind, all of the spare food that was in this back room, uh, all of the batteries and everything we're going to need. So let's uh, yoink them if we can actually pick them up. There we go. A spare car battery, always useful. Good for Steve. Good for getting Steve back on the road. That's everything from downstairs. Let's head upstairs. Let's just see if we can pick this up. No, we can't pick anything up. So there was a few components and stuff just up here. A component in here. Some pistol ammo that I didn't actually see last time. Interesting. Uh, we've got a few components in here, I think. Nope, no components in here. Okay, so it's the next bedroom. Okay, so that's everything looted out of this house. So we've got a few bit more food. We've got a spare car battery. We've got some more components. We've got some potatoes, which is great. Uh, so let's continue exploring down this road a little bit. What time? Are we, what time are we at? What time is it? It's ten. It's ten twenty-one. I think we can explore a few more hours of the daylight. We can always do all the crafting and stuff when we get back home. Okay, so I've been following this road for a little bit. It looks like there's another bandit camp. There's another outpost. And this one looks fairly similar to what we already had. I don't know if this is a bandit camp or not. Oh, we've got another military outpost. This is interesting. We might be able to get some more epic gamer loot out of here. Now this one looks... It's a lot smaller than the previous one, but I assume it's going to have just as much epic loot in it. I mean, already we've got... Oh my god, already we found a revolver. Holy crap. This was definitely worth coming here. We've got a spare weapon. Nice. Well, all in all, this has been absolutely, completely successful. I've, I am more than happy with what we've found here today. I do need to get up here. Uh, pick the box up. Let's rotate it around a little bit. And we can use that. We've got another box. Nice. More storage. Okay, I'm going to explore that house just down there. Okay, so I've just come around the corner a little bit. We found another house, which is huge. We've also found another lot of military vehicles. Which looks fairly interesting. I wonder if there's any more boxes around here. That we can potentially yoink. I mean, there's a lot of scrap around here. There's plenty of stuff on the ground. There's... Broken vehicles over there. This is quite a big area around here, actually. There's a lot of houses. There's a lot of houses around here. So let me go and investigate this house as well. I mean, this house is pretty big. Okay, so I explored the rest of that house. There was not a lot left in it. However, I have noticed there's a lot of buildings around here. This is like a big area. This is real, like a big sort of... I wouldn't call it a town. I wouldn't go that far. But it is certainly a big area with lots of stuff. In fact, it's so big, I'm kind of overwhelmed. Because there's even more stuff down there. There's a, there's a gas station down there. Now, I'm not so confident as to say what exactly is around here. I don't know if there's any bears. There's a spare tyre. Hey, we got another tyre for Steve. I think that might be all of them. I think that might be all the tyres to get Steve back up off the ground. Some more fuel. Which we don't really need. I don't have the gas can on me at the moment anyway. The jerry can. Uh, I can't hear any zombies. More food? Oh, perfect. This is great. Another weapon case with a machete in it. We'll take the machete. We'll leave the weapon case. Some more cola. Nice. Another room that we can't get into. That's a big storage shed. Can we get in this? No, we can't. There's a lot of area around here to be exploring. 
We've explored that house. That's where that's where our car is. This is a really, really large area. With lots of good stuff. Spark plugs, useful. I don't know if we need these, but we'll take them anyway. I don't know if we need them for Steve. Okay, let's bring the car around. Let's go and get the car out from the back of this property and we'll uh, we'll continue exploring this town a little bit. Okay, so I've just brought the car around a little bit. And this house, it looks very clean. There's actually zombies inside it. Okay, well at least we know now. I was just going to say that this house looks very clean. I don't know why it sort of stands out. But it does. It looks like there might be some good items in here. So we're going to go and investigate this. See if we can find any more... See if we can find any more containers. Because containers at the moment are the one things we lack in. That's the one thing we could really do with finding is more of... Is more containers. I know I said the word containers about four times in the row, but... I'm concentrating, okay? There's a lot of guys in there. There are a lot of zombies in there. There's about six. Ouch. Okay, he hit me, but luckily my armor's really good at the moment, so we didn't actually take that much damage. So this armor so far, this chest plate we've got on, is really, really good. Alright, so we've got two dead zombies in here. There's actually a basement to this house. Ouch! Dead. We got some meds, which I can't actually carry at the moment. <laughs> this is why I was. This is why I said the word containers a lot of times because we don't have enough space to carry all of this awesome loot that we've got ourselves. As you can clearly see, we have completely run out of inventory space. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave some of this stuff here until we find stuff. Until we, until we can find another box to carry stuff home in. Ouch. What have you got? Salt. Yeah, look at my health. I've taken about four hits. And I've still got really good health. Holy crap. Finding this uh, combat armor in the very beginning was a really good thing. I mean, we have rinsed through quite a bit of ammo today, but... Well worth it. I mean, the amount of loot and resources that we've managed to gain far outweighs the time it's taken. Alright, so down to the basement we go. I'm hoping there's going to be like some really, some really solid weapons and stuff down here, maybe. Because this looks like a doomsday bunker. This looks like some sort of place I'd want to hide my weapons. I mean, there's a military crate down here, and that, just on its own... Gives me a really, really good feeling. We'll... I'll leave you in suspense. I'll leave you in suspense. No, I can't do it. Let's look in the box. Oh, more armor, some MREs, some more food. This is perfect. We needed this. Gunpowder, antibiotics. Uh, we will leave the revolver ammo in there. Right, we need to get this out of here. This is definitely coming home with us. This has got some really good quality items in it that we need to take. We need these. So, instead of running all the way out to the car just yet, we shall leave it just there and continue exploring. So, we've been in that room. We've not been in here yet. Which already has given us two huge containers. Right, we need, we need both of these. We're going to take everything. We're going to take everything we can get our hands on. This is all beautiful 
beautiful stuff. I can't move these, apparently. Oh, there we go. I can take one of them. Okay, so after a bit of organising, we now have this. This is my loot mobile. Oh. Oh, we've got the boys. It's a bit toasty out here, boys. That's that boy down. Yeah, so as you can see, we have now got exponential amounts of loot. So we've got two boxes under there, we've got this box, we've got three military boxes, and we've got two lockers. Which, I must say, these lockers are actually massive. We can put so much stuff in here now. This is great. What my plan is now, is I'm going to leave these lockers in here. After we've looted everything, I'm going to leave them in the truck. Oh! Round two? No. Uh, but anyway, I've... The, the pr previous house we was looting was just down there, so we've only moved about... 100 yards. And I've noticed there's a bit of a dead end down there. There's a water tower up there. And there was another house. So this is basically just a, another looting episode more than anything. Uh, which is great because we need all the materials we can get. And the more looting we can get, the more crafting we can do later on. And the more upgrades we can make to the vehicles. The more upgrades we can make to weapons. The more attachments we might be able to find. Which is great. Which is great. I'm really excited about all the crafting we can do later. Uh, I'm not so excited about all the bugs around the place. There's actually a load of zombies in here as well. Holy crap. I did not expect to see these boys. There's actually more than I thought. That boy's down. So we're down three. We've down three of the boys. And I think we're clear because I can't hear anymore. I think we're good. Okay, so let's continue looting some components. Nice, some more beast... Beef. Some more beef. Uh, hey, another box. We don't actually need it, but I'm going to take it anyway, because yoink. Like I said, anything we find is completely usable. So this is great. We've got another box. We've got some more handgun ammo. That's going to come in really useful, considering we've used quite a bit of it today, actually. I think we started the episode at like 20 bullets, and now we're down to about 11, 12, 13, 14 maybe. A few bullets. I'm going to hope that that stays there. I really wish that will stay there. Okay, so let's loot upstairs, considering that box is now full. There's a lot of blood upstairs, although I can't hear any zombies. I can't hear them in my brain. So I think we're good. A small little container here, and nothing in it, alright. Another child's bedroom, which looks absolutely pristine with a bit of cloth. Some blood blood soaked carpet, that's gonna take a bit to get out of the floor. Oh, another locked room. Okay. Let's make a lot of noise, screw it. We've got a lock pick, but we don't need it. Okay, so we've got another container, another gun, perfect. And that's about it. I'll take a gun. I'll take a gun. That was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Alright, so now we've looted this building. What we're going to do is we're going to... I think I'm just going to walk down to there. Because it's not that far. We'll just walk down here. And we'll just see what's, what's down here. I mean, this is just like another blocked off checkpoint. Looks like there's another bit of, a bit of loot up there that we can perhaps go and find. I'm not really sure what the idea of these little checkpoints are, to be completely honest with you. I mean, that is just the forest back there, so it's sort of a bit of a weird place to block the road anyway, because it doesn't actually continue. So that's a bit strange, but I don't know. I don't know. So let's explore up here a little bit. Let's see what's, let's see what's over here. If I could actually get over the wall. That's strange, but okay. Now, this just keeps going on and on and on. There's just endless houses to loot. Oh, that's a church. This is a church. Is there anything in here? There's a propane bottle. Some handgun ammo. Some scrap metal. Okay, we'll take it. We can use it. Can 
Can we go in the church? Oh, we can't go in the church. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, not a lot to loot. Some more sorty pops, I'll take that. Any more stuff for Steve? We've got another car battery. Nice, we'll take it. We'll take that. Anything else? Nothing in there. Anything in the trunk? Some meds and some sewing kits. Nice. Uh, we can't undo them ones. Uh, I think this is the house we were just at. Yeah, it is. So the truck's just there. Look at that. Look at that beautiful uh, packing job in the back there. That looks beautiful. There's another house up the hill. There's another house up there, which we're going to go and have a look at. This has just been looting episode. We've just been getting all the fat loot and exploring the island, getting more of a layout of the land. Getting more of a lay of the land. Let's go and explore up here. Let's go and see what this house has got for us. Looks like it's another zombie house. That box did stay there. Holy crap. Now let's see if there's any zombies in here as well. I can't hear any. I think we might be good. I can't hear any zombies. Another axe. Useful. This house is actually pretty big. I was not expecting it to be this big. Some more rags. Okay. All useful stuff. Is this the back room? Oh, it's the garage. Okay, so another another strange house layout. The laundry room. Some scrap metal in it, of course. Some components. This is the... This is like a weird looking... This is a weird layout for a house, I'll be honest. We've got two lockpicks, so at least we can do some rooms silently if we really chose to. I don't want to... I don't want to waste them. Considering it's such a quiet way of... I mean, we're killing all the zombies as they are anyway, so we don't really have a, a need to sneak around. Let's look in this room. Okay. Some more cloth, usable. Another SWAT helmet, nice. This will be great for the NPCs that we eventually find, because there are NPCs in this game, if you're unaware. Uh, there's NPCs, there are there's pets, there's actually a dog we can find. We do have to find the bandit camp that does have it, which we'll probably go for next round. Uh, next episode, we'll probably have a look and see if we can go and find the dog. That's going to be our mission, that's goal. Goal, quest accepted. Quest accepted, we need to go and find the doggo. Uh, sugar, I don't really know what we can use the sugar for, but we'll take the canned fruit. It's more useful. Sugar will leave... Uh, some more canned fruit, that's great. Uh, in fact, we can actually eat this now. We're, uh, uh, in fact, we'll drink a soda pop instead. Running a little little low on the old H. 2-0. Uh, some more matches, which we don't need. We've got plenty of those. Although it is 11, that's a lot. There's 14, holy crap. I didn't notice that. Uh, we can take these in the place of an empty... T nope. In the space of some rifle ammo. And then we'll come back and get it. Nice. Well, that's that house cleared. We've got lots of loot. I'm going to head home now, actually. We've got loads of stuff, which is absolutely awesome. We could really do with uh, doing some organization. I will probably do the, some organization between episodes because we have got a lot of stuff now. Uh, that we don't have many places to put it. So, what I think I'm going to do is, between episodes, I'm now going to have a look through all of the stuff we've got, compile it, keep it all in like nice places. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we are going to put all the stuff that's for the garage in the garage, put all the stuff that's for in the house in the house, and all the self-defense weapons we're going to put in our bedroom. Uh, which I'm also going to make a bed as well. We don't actually have a bed. We keep sleeping on. Uh, we keep sleeping on an old, uh, an old bed we made. An old sleeping bag. I can't remember the name of the of a sleeping bag then. That was strange. My brain. So yeah, I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to head home and do some organisation. Uh, so next time, what we're going to do is we're going to pick off. Uh, we're going to pick up 
where we left off and we're going to go and search for the doggo. We're going to go and search for our little companion pet, which we need to make, make it. We need to come up with a name for him, actually. Uh, and what we also need to do is we're going to need to go and fight some bandits. Uh, we need to go and get some NPCs and craft some better stuff. You know, we've got a lot of components. We've got a lot of scrap metal now. So we can make a load of upgrades. We can hopefully upgrade the car. Hopefully get Steve up and running. That'll be the next thing to do. Uh, we'll get Steve up and running. Uh, get him all the wheels back on him. Get some engines in. You know, get all the good loots. Which I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. So yeah, thank you very much for watching today's episode of Mist. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It does help the channel out a lot more than you think. And all my social links are in the description. If you want to join our Discord, follow me on Twitter and watch me on Twitch. I'm probably live streaming right about now. So head over, say hi, say you're from YouTube. It'd be great to see the audience from YouTube come over to my Twitch audience, which would be awesome. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Much love to you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.